Thousands of years ago, our ancestors developed soulful relationships with plant teachers such as ayahuasca and various mushrooms. Relationships that led to the development of complex knowledge systems that cultivated a deeper awareness of the interconnectedness of all life and the understanding that we also are part of nature. Symbiosis of whatever kind, as long as it's mutually beneficial and doesn't harm other living things, it is a basic human right. The idea that we can regulate these plants or that, that we, the human species, should uh, you know, have the authority to decide that this plant, for instance, should be illegal, you know, that's like, that's passing a judgment on it. What gives us the authority to say that, you know, and, and no one appointed us as the ruler of these plants. More and more people are getting caught in the nets. Arrests are on the rise across the globe. What we are facing is a major lack of understanding of what this phenomenon is about. And this is why we've made it our mission to advocate for the prioritization of human rights over drug policies within the judicial systems of the world. For the last three years, thanks to the support of the international community, we have been able to work with defendants and their legal teams in more than 27 countries. Uh, accused of importing illegal drugs to Israel and for conducting ceremonies in Israel. And we were facing a very long trial and probably five to ten years in jail. The pen initial that me put in was, I think, seven years. And I was in that moment, I had a little girl. And right after the trial, the other girl was my daughter. So, of course, it's a es un limbo, es un limbo en el, en el que te encuentras ahí. ICER's legal defense program has been a collective effort that led to important victories in many countries of the world. And not only that, it also became one of the most important hubs of knowledge and analysis around legal issues related to teacher plans. We need to keep the work and be ready for any event that may happen in the future. With your support, our team will be able to offer in-depth support to more people who are facing legal challenges. Each unique case plays an important role in avoiding negative legal precedents that have negative impacts for the whole global community. And each success helps us clear the path towards legal certainty in more and more places. At one point I had a meeting with my lawyer and he said, that he's never seen such a professional organization, that they were so helpful, that everything that he needed, and we needed a lot of things, like just reports, and Konzanza was working with him. Um, he was just so impressed with, with, with the help. We analyze everything we learn on what is happening globally, feeding new information into subsequent cases, and sharing with the community through education efforts. So the more we work with legal teams and defendants around the world, the more our collective expertise and strategy is elevated. All of this translates into proactive actions to foster favorable interpretations of how drug laws are applied to plant teachers. Now is the time to acknowledge and accept that protecting the knowledge behind the ancestral plants is imperative, and to remove them from the obsolete category they've been placed on for far too long. I really want to express my gratitude to ICUs and I'm very grateful they existed and hope that uh, ICUs will be supported by the right people so they can continue their work in the world and help other people in my case. After a decade in service to the global plant medicine community, having worked with over 100 cases, I am asking you to support ICUs through this campaign. In this way, we can continue working with every single case that comes to us, seizing the opportunity for positive legal precedent. Please give what you can and share this campaign. Thank you.